70% of the world's surface is covered by oceans. Currently, the best way to get scientific data about these oceans is to get a huge boat powered by gasoline, put lots of people on it, and go out and do your science. Imagine if instead we could have a small, cheaper platform that you could put um, out in the water, tell it where to go and what data you want it to collect, and it, using the wind, using the power of the wind, could go and do that all by itself. This is exactly the kind of problem that Olin students love to solve. So we decided to attack it, and having no experience in robotic sailing, um, much like most people in the world, we decided that within a year we would like to go and take a robotic sailboat of our own construction and design to the world's international robotic sailing competition in June in Vancouver. Apart from being an excellent way to hone our engineering skills and our teamwork and just do amazing fun things, we think that robotic sailing really has the potential to responsibly and sustainably solve a lot of serious problems that the world faces today. The Olin Sailbot team um, was started as an idea that my friend James and I had. We heard about the International Robotic Sailing Competition and got really excited about the idea of founding a team to enter into this competition. Uh, so the idea is that each team designs and builds their own sailbot, uh, which is just a two meter long um, sailboat which is able to autonomously navigate uh, through various competitions. So some of these challenges are fleet races against other boats, uh, some are navigation challenges where you need to round buoys precisely, and one of them is a 10 kilometer endurance race in which your boat just has to last the entire 10 kilometers. Uh, so we heard about this competition and we decided it would be really exciting to enter into it, so the next step was recruiting a team. So at the beginning of fall semester, we managed to convince three other seniors and about 30 underclassmen to join with us in this pursuit. Uh, this is a huge percentage of our school. We only have 300 people here, so 30 members is about 10% of our school. This is our small RC boat, which we run in our, um, in our pool here in the project building. We have a little Wi-Fi receiver that we just tuck inside the boat where, before, where regular RC receiver would go, and this allows us to control the boat over our wireless network. And plug it in. And we can, the rudder of the boat we modified. Originally, it could only go 30 degrees, which is about this much ish. Um, and we've modified it so that it can turn to 50 degrees which means that we can do a lot tighter maneuvers in this pool when we're going fast. Right now the boat's doing its thing in the pool right over there. Um, and this is the computer where all the thinking goes on right now. And we've got a control interface where we can have it either be autonomous and make its own decisions about where, it's, where it wants to go and where it wants to set the sail and rudder. Or we can, we can take manual control also. And I can take manual control of the rudder and it'll, it, the cool thing here is that the sails will still be set by the computer, so I don't really have to know about sailing. Um, and it'll do all the hard work for me. So to accomplish our goals, we decided to split our huge team up into three smaller sub-teams, mechanical, electrical, and coding. Uh, the mechanical team is responsible for designing and building our entire boat. So this means refinishing a used hull, uh, designing and fabricating an entirely new mast and sails and rigging package, uh, designing and fabricating a keel and ballast system to properly balance the boat, and designing and fabricating rudders, rudder mounts, servo mounts. And finally, designing a completely custom waterproof electronics housing to put all of our sens sensitive electronics equipment in. The electronics team is working on developing a foam uh, sensing, actuation, computation, communication package, uh, which will form the backbone of our robot. And finally, the software team is developing the algorithms, which will live on the computation package, uh, collect data from the sensors, and decide how to move the actuators to make our boat uh, successfully and autonomously navigate the competitions. 
very passionate about sustainability and alternate forms of energy. Like, I'm really interested in different ways that we can do the things that our society already does uh, in order to do it to a better end. <clears throat> so, Silva's the perfect example of that because there's so much possibility for autonomous self-sailing boats that can go out on the open seas and transport themselves from point A to point B without having to worry about time because you don't have to worry about crew that's on it. And they use the energy of the wind in order to navigate the open ocean. That's incredibly cool. One of the one of the passions of, or the dreams of some members of this team is that one day we'll be able to build a boat that can autonomously sail across the Atlantic Ocean, uh, which is something that no one's ever done before. I think that there's nothing quite like it at all, um, and that's it's really important to have um, because there are a lot of people that are very interested in autonomous things, very interested in aquatic things, um, or just people who want to get their feet wet, no pun intended, in the sort of robotics realm, because I have no robotics background. I didn't do first, I didn't do any of that, um, but Sailbot gave me the opportunity to actually do some of that without any prior knowledge, because they would teach me. People like myself, uh, who's a senior uh, at Olin College, all the way down through um, all the awesome freshmen, sophomores, and juniors on our team, are learning how to work in teams, how to interface between different disciplines, and how to manage their own schedules when they're working on a hard engineering problem uh, with other commitments on their table. It's a great learning experience. Um, one of the things that I try and do on the team is throw myself into as many situations that I haven't, that I haven't been in before, or that need skills that I don't have yet. Um, and then try and develop those. For example, I have a lot more mechanical experience than coding, um, but I'm still trying to get involved in the, the Sailbot coding team to learn as much as I can. Um, it really, it, it helps students stay motivated, um, and it really helps them dive into a problem that they need to learn new skills for.